uh, performances in front of us as the skaters warm up. And we have some uh, amazing skaters for you, including Irina Slutskaya, the reigning European champion. We have Michelle Kwan, the world champion in Minneapolis. And we have Maria Butraskaya, the uh, current world champion. And there's Sarah Hughes, who's uh, in great form here. Just stepping out of the uh, triple look. She won't want to do that in the competition. But uh, she put in a fabulous performance in the qualification round. Just to put you uh, in the picture as to how the qualification went, Irina Slutskaya won her group which was the uh, more difficult group. It included Michelle Kwan, Maria Butcherskaya, as she did in Vienna, had a very easy group, but she qualified first, as she did in Vienna, but this time she went clean. She deserved it. She deserves a place. There she is, the, uh, the diva of ladies, figure skating. And an amazing performance to win last year in Helsinki. Yeah, she's in good form here. She's been uh, very, very consistent in all the practice sessions. And... Uh, She's not going to let that title go easily, you know. There's triple that's double toe, looks good. Not the sort of elevation she was uh, looking for, but making it count. Getting the feeling, keeping that edge on the way in. You see, that was tight with the rotation. She's a real fighter. It's going to go down to the wire this afternoon, you know. Gut feeling? Not sure on this one, you know. <sighs> Tammy reckons uh, Michelle Kwan, doesn't she? She does. And she's pretty good. She's uh, she's better than me, actually. I was going to say, you took the words out of my mouth. I saved you from having to say it. Yeah. So we'll go with her? Uh, I had a feeling about Slut Sky until Tammy said Michelle Kwan, but uh, I don't think it's going to be Butcher Sky. I don't know. I'm going to sit on the fence. I really, really don't know. Makes it all the more exciting, though. Could go anywhere. I just think Butra Sky is in good form. She's she skated well in the qualification. And don't forget, also in this group, we have this amazing 15-year-old from Denmark, Mikkelin Kierkegaard. There's uh, Henrik Valentin, who's the coach. She has done phenomenally well to get into this group. She yeah. has done very, very well. Let's hope the experience is a good one. Yeah, it just highlights the uh, imbalance in the qualification groups, doesn't it? Yes, it does. She was uh, second in Butcher Sky's group. That's not taking anything away from her. I mean, she's performed really well. She's skated her. A fabulous program, really, really good, but I don't think she'd have been anywhere near second place in the other group. Tavia Cinquanta, president of the uh, International Skating Union, watching on as we await now this final group. Quan will go first. She's 19 years of age, is Michelle. And in the last four years, has never been out of the top two in world championships. An incredibly consistent record. Champion in 96, champion in 98. Runner-up last year. But she's been in very good shape. And uh, Tammy Sear rates her as the favourite as we go into this short programme. Skating to uh, Lennon McCartney's A Day in the Life. It's Michelle Kwan. Let's do 
double toe loop. I think she kept the free leg off, but it wasn't the sort of landing she was looking for, and it could be key. but pretty good and good to see the smile and it's typical that she enrolled at the uh, University of California UCLA as a freshman in the fall last year a full-time student just like any other student even though she's a millionaire Michelle Kwan she also lives in uh, a dormitory has a roommate and wanted to live the usual student life it's typical of her she's a terrific girl well fantastic start to this short program what a great choice of music wasn't it not sure. Oh, I loved it. Did you? Yeah. Not for you? No, I thought she interpreted it a bit fun. I thought it was a strange choice. I oh, I thought it. I loved it. There's the double axle. And she has just the best landing position. This was a great start. Combination, triple loops, bit of a change of edge on the way in. See, she doesn't get a lot of height. But boy, does she get a soft landing. There's the double toe. Hardly off the floor, is it really? Good layback spin. But uh, everything she does, she makes look so easy. Wonderfully graceful. Here's the flip. Now watch that free leg. I'm sure it stays off. Yes, it does. But it could be crucial that. Why? Well, it wasn't a strong running edge. If the if it comes down to the wire and the judges have got to decide between the two performances and uh, say, for instance, Butraskaya does everything really, really cleanly, that may be what tips the scales. Look at the way that Slutskaya is skating at the moment. So, so strong. I just can't envisage her making a mistake. It used to be like that with Kwan, didn't it? Yeah. But that sort of vulnerability has gone to a certain extent. But uh, let's see what she's got in store for us this year. Not sensational five, marks, six, but they are the five, best six, so far. Five, five four six, up to five, seven. Five, Remember that there are five more to go. Five, six, so the judge has got to be a little bit careful. I think five, five fours seven, are a little tough. Five, five, seven, but the second mark should be very high. She no, is such no, a graceful no, skater. Oh, yes. Well, the Hungarian has her in wow. third place, but uh, the rest have her first, which I think everybody else here does. Five, eight, so Michelle Kwan then five, eight, five, goes. Seven, into the lead by some way, Guzmaroli second, Nikodinov third. But it's the American on top right now. I mean, I thought you did a good job. I'm in your chamber. Weren't you pleased with it? Yes. Sur la glace, représentant la Hongrie. Sarah Hughes awaits her turn. And on the ice right now is. Another from Hungary. Julia they have riches galore in 
ladies figure skating and here's the young lady who qualified in third place 18 years of age she was six in the europeans but 19th her best so far in worlds julia sebastian Two, triple Lutz, double Tolu. Nice, she got super elevation on that Lutz. a graceful performer but we said no deduction for the double flip rather than a triple but it'll be as good as when you get to this level it's it'll be like a deduction for the technical mark yeah the uh, difficulty not there such a pity because the first element the combination was awesome the height on that triple looks the first part of the combination was brilliant here's the double axle she nailed that spotted the landing really well and here's the Lutz just look at the height of this keeps the outside edge perfectly look at it lovely knee bend and she knows she's got it sussed there yeah, brilliant that was a good combination such a pity about the flip she'll be kicking herself because uh, that will be crucial that's certainly going to get her out of the top group for the uh, the next section. Yes, it's good news for the likes of Gusmaroli, who's desperately trying to get into that final group because it means so much. We're just judged in a whole different light. That's a good point, actually. It, 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 very, very important for her. Had to be a good point coming along somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she'll be kicking herself. Silly mistake. Another skater that's been very consistent all week. And uh, she was outstanding in the qualifications. Uh, Good judge, spins. Judges taking their time because now it gets pretty difficult. Going to make a comeback in your prediction where she's going to be on the short. Note four. Fifth, sixth. Marks four. Probably around there. Yeah. Julia Sebastian. Don't have to agree with Note me. No, no, I think about sixth place. On the short. Yeah. yeah, she'll be better than that overall because she qualified in a high place. Well, they've done her a favor. She's going to qualify 
in fourth place at the moment in the short. 4.7 from the Italian. One, five, and you can see three, a couple of the marks in the low seven, fives would be a lot four, better for nine, presentation. Five, two, five, two, five, two. Perhaps Thank a you. little lucky. I'd say very lucky. The Italian has it down in the 11th place. Five, one, but uh, fifth and sixth is what five, we reckon, but five, three, third from the Romanian five, judge. Three, five, zero, five, one, five, four, it's uh, five, second place. She's five, two, got off lightly, Julia, three, and she could well hit that final group. Now here's the girl who's been the revelation of the competition so far. 15 years old from Honderstad in, in, in uh, Denmark, rather. And real elegance despite her young age, and she can jump forever. Miklin Kierkegaard. sign of fallibility that we've seen from her but very understandable in the final group just a chance of a medal beckoning at world championships at the age of 15 but she looks a little shocked as if the experience has been a difficult one yes see uh, a very different expression now from the one we saw yesterday be a real test of her character now skated out of her skin yesterday Here's the uh, loop at the beginning. Oh, oh dear. Such a shame. Lovely program. She sold it very, very well. It's actually incredible. Her age, isn't it? It is. So much maturity out there. A look at that loop again. You see the left shoulder's gone a little bit too far. Whoa, can't stop the rotation. Seem to have the same spring today, although good elevation on the triple toe. Bit over the toe rake, bit of hesitation before the double toe loop. And those knees not working quite as well as they did in the qualification. It's that over expectancy. Yeah. 
is right there. Pressure was on. Even the double axle, not as good a quality as uh, we're used to seeing from her. She has a wonderful elegance out there, great landing position. Well, she was seventh in the uh, European Championships, which was pretty amazing. And uh, although she's in the final group, to get in the top seven at Worlds would be excellent. To get in the top ten at the age of 15, I mean, let's be real. Yeah, fantastic, yeah. I think she's going to be seventh or eighth on this. Just uh, looking down the list. Seventh or eighth with how many to go? With three to go. So that would take her into tenth, which is, yeah, yeah I think about right. Yeah. I'm well, saying seventh or eighth on the, on the short. Yeah. So... Uh, A bit harder than that overall. She's going to drop, and I think she's going to drop out of the top group. Yes, more than likely. But uh, she's got to keep her chin up. Come back fighting again tomorrow for the free. Because uh, whatever happens, she's done herself proud anyway to be in this situation. Now, the fact that she's in the final group will help her. Otherwise, if it had been earlier on, these marks would be uh, very disappointing. Judge is uh, making her wait. Anxious moments for her. Four point one to four point seven. Ooh. It's not good. It's not four, good. Seven, I thought those four, five, the final group would hold her up, but six, no, eight, she's four, crashed. I'm afraid. Four, six, it's twelfth place. Four, six, twelfth place five, in the short, four, six, and she's going to go down to ninth overall. It's actually good judging. Yeah. It is. Yes, we were yeah. saying it was only because she was in the final group yeah. was going to hold her up. No, the judges have said that's what it's worth. And uh, we've got no qualms no, with that. It's good judging. Seventh from the Dutch judge down to 14. And she's ninth overall at the moment. Now. She hasn't won Worlds before, but she is a strong favourite to win this year, even though Michelle Kwan's in the field. Three times a European champion, including in Vienna just a few weeks ago. Bronze in the world in 96, silver in 98. Will it be gold in 2000? She's done wonderfully well so far. The music, Appassionata. And here's the 21-year-old from Moscow. Irina Slutskaya. Taking uh, her time to prepare. and she's done a variety of these combinations in practice. Triple looks, double toe loop. Didn't look that elegant. She has done double loop at the end. Double axle there, clean as a whistle. There's a great running edge coming out of that combination. Needs to be foot perfect on the uh, solo jump. Triple flip.
gorgeous. Well, the second mark for me will be better than Kwan's, but uh, it wasn't a great combination, and the first mark Even might be lower. How do you decide? Kwan made the mistake on the flip, and though she didn't touch down, she had a bad landing. But Sky is struggling on the combination. Both good programs, but Skaya's spins probably had the edge on Kwan's. The program is so subjective, isn't it? Yeah, for me, uh, as you know, I was a bit subdued by uh, her routine, Michelle Kwan. I thought it was a wrong choice of music, and I thought that Skaya just had it by a little way on elegance. I think I'd go the other way. Okay. Quite possible it could be a split decision. There's that combination. Now, had that been the sort of quality she's been doing all week, I'd have gone with Slutskaya. Flip was gorgeous. And the spins, the Bielman spin on both feet, incredible. Married now with a, a new attitude, much more fun to be around is Irina. And she shows so much more maturity in the last year. This so Michelle having a look, just having a peek there yeah. at how her main rival is doing. I bet she's having a peek now. Uh, the marks being shown out on the arena already, and they are good for the elements. Very good, in fact, better than uh, Kwan's 5-4 from the Croatian. Very solid indeed. And, uh, no wonder she's smiling. I'm sure the second mark is excellent. Five, six, five, four, five, eight, five, I don't think they should be even better. But uh, she's going to be delighted when she sees that number one rank. Look at those marks. Six, seven, six out of nine have her in first place. So Sky then is leader. Michelle Kwan in second. Sebastian for Hungary is third with two more to go. The favourite, top of the ranking list. So, one more from America, one more from Russia. It's a uh, head-to-head, Russia and America this afternoon. Here's the 14-year-old from Great Neck, New York, qualified in third place. A music serenade for Clara. It's Sarah Hughes. Sarah, the youngest skater here at these World Championships. Now oh, that is beautiful. Changing edge halfway through the spin, very difficult. Double toe loop.
Would you believe it? Well, we saw a 15-year-old, Miklin Kierkegaard, crack to a certain extent under the pressure. And Sarah Hughes has shown true American grit here this afternoon, and she is going to be in the final group. She's going to be right up there. That was magnificent. Sarah Hughes. Wow. Would you believe it? I think there's two key points on that program. One, the circular step sequence. For me, there wasn't a lot of footwork in it. And the pattern of the spirals. The spirals were gorgeous, but she chose a, to do them in a circle and didn't complete the circle. That was very evident from where we're sat. Now, maybe that won't be so evident from where the judges are sat. Yes, we're right down the end of the ring. Judges, of course, have a side-on view. Good combination. What a talent she is. She's got the strength. Does uh, cheat the beginning of the jump a little bit. You can see that uh, she's almost forwards but by the time she's taken off. Runner-up in uh, Junior Worlds last year. Uh, here she is as a senior. Third in nationals. She's a cool customer, isn't she? She handled the pressure so, so well. There's a quandary for the judges. Scaling the program with uh, just incredible maturity. Third or fourth? Because Maroli's third at the moment on the short. I think... I don't think it was better than Guzmaroli's no. for the two reasons that I gave. Yes. But it's in the last group. She may get the edge. I think I'd have a fourth. She may end up third. Yeah. Absolutely with you. Good for you also. Aww. Robin Wagner, <laughs> the coach. And, uh, well done to her. Home. Sure. Love you, miss she you. deserves quite a bit of the credit for getting Sarah ready in such a good frame of mind. Hi, everybody. Ice house. That's the amazing thing, isn't it? That she got out there, handled the pressure with the best in the world. She wants to win. And it won't be long before she's at the top, I'm sure. Fantastic. Here we go. 5-0. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 5 zero up to 5.5, but the important thing is that she's going to be fourth. So we got it right. Guzman only third. Sarah Hughes fourth. I think the judges have done it a yeah. really good job here this afternoon. Sometimes we just ignore it when they do a good job. We seldom ignore it when they do a bad job. But let's hear it for them this afternoon. This is a very good panel of judges. Yeah, it's, it's not easy either. I mean, it's, a, it's so, so close. But look at that. That's a very, very good judging. Third overall. Yeah, fourth in the short, third overall. Overall, it's Slip Sky leading. Quan second. Sarah Hughes third. Guzmaroli is third on the short. Thank you. One to go. Here she is, the reigning world champion. Representant la Russie. On the ice. 27 years old now, the oldest girl to become Maria world champion in the history of ladies figure skating. And what a champion she is, every inch a champion out there. The music, send amour. Here is the winner of Group A qualifying, Maria Butraskaya from Russia.
going into that double axle. And now she'll sell the program as only she can. gets it right, you have to say she's in a class of her own. And she got it right this afternoon and she will go top and on the day way, way clear. How does she do it? She's had to sit and wait right to the end of this group. There's been some wonderful performances. The pressure is immense. Couldn't put a foot wrong, and she went out there, and that I think that is the best I've ever seen escape. Yeah, I'll the, go along with that. The jumps were just so clean. Sometimes she's a little bit late getting down in the knee on the landing of the jumps, but today, the softness was there. Look at this combination at the beginning. This is key. You can't even begin to appreciate the pressure she's under. Look at that. Beautiful knee bend on the Lutz, down in the knee on the toe loop. And then, just a... Gorgeous triple loop. So much better than Vienna. Where, yeah. To be honest, she was dead lucky to get a silver medal. And now she's put herself in, a, well, must be pole position for the gold. And she really leaves the others for dead when she skates like that. It's just captivating to watch. Yeah, if she can keep herself relaxed like that, not get uptight. Well, there's Michelle Kwan looking on. She won't live with her, I'm afraid. No. I think on the free, though, Michelle might have it over her. That's my gut feeling. Even if Butraskaya, if, if Kwan skates clean, she's got so much more technically than Butraskaya. But the second mark, Butraskaya has it over her, I think. I still think if, if Butraskaya skates like that, I don't think anyone will live with her. But can she do it for four minutes with the extra triples that are needed? I don't know. I, yeah, I think she can. We'll find out tomorrow. Yes. She's not done no, it so far, even, even when she won the Worlds. No. Marks four. But Maria if Kwan falters, the second mark that Butchaskar can put in is of such different quality yeah. that it will give her what she needs. And they've given it to her on the first mark as well. Look at that. Three five point nine. You could see a six in the second set, you know. You could. I'd give it one. Yes. Five point nine six zero. I'd give it. Absolutely. I thought it was just awesome. Thank you. Seven out of nine have her in uh, first place. The Dutch and the Romanian. It's rather strange marking for the Romanian, I have to say. But seven out of nine have her first. She squints at the marks, but she must be absolutely thrilled. Maria Butraskaya, a quite outstanding performance. What a way to finish a simply fabulous afternoon. And the champion has put in a champion's performance. Fin de la compétition, programme court, dame. I think uh, there are a number of people who could have written that. Every moment of the super slow-mo is worth looking at. The girl who uh, choreographs her own routines. There's a lot the others could learn from her. Yeah, I think that's key because everything she does, she does from the heart. She's just got a, an amazing feeling when she skates. And she draws you in, doesn't she? She's learned so much over the last year. 
time after time before when the pressure was on she wasn't able to do it and she's toughened up tough is a very difficult adjective to use with Maria yeah. Butcherskaya because she is so elegant but that mental toughness has allowed us to see all the elegance that's out there this afternoon there's confirmation going to be very close and uh, Michelle Kwan if she wins the free will win overall I have a feeling that the fallibility that we've seen from Michelle is going to be there I still think if Michelle Kwan skates clean she wins the program on technical and you're saying if Butcher Sky skates clean she'll win the program on artistic I think that if uh, Butcher Sky skates clean if she skates with the same quality it's, it's not the cleanliness it's not not the cleanliness it's not the fact that she hasn't missed anything she's got to not miss anything and land the jumps with the quality that she had today right that softness she's vulnerable of being very stiff in the knee on the landings and uh, she can't afford to let that happen tomorrow she's got to relax she's got to go out there let the skates run believe in herself and i think she'll win okay and um, slutskaya it'll be uh, a toss-up between slutskaya and Michelle Kwan for second place. But, I mean, that's all presuming Budjaskaya skates with the same quality as she does to, as she has today. Any one of those three can win okay. at the end of the day. I'll differ. I think if Michelle Kwan... I don't say she's going to skate clean. I, I have a funny feeling about it. I don't think she will. But I think if she does skate clean, 